So I was asked by somebody to review a song of Marcus Rogers. Okay. Here again. This person mentioned it on his Brotherhood album. It's called Washed Away. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and listen to it. And this person brought to my attention a specific um, word or, or, or a statement in there saying, I'm a MF or soldier. Asked me what I thought about it. So I thought, you know what, might as well. I don't think this individual Marcus Rogers is that loose. I don't think he's going to slip and use curse words in his godly music. I mean, obviously, he's used other phrases within his godly music and claims it was godly by putting known sinners in his music. People who have used the Lord's name in vain, active sinners, and, you know, sitting here making it seem like, oh, yeah, I'm getting money like I'm getting alimony checks and, you know, oh, I'm going to go ahead and level up y'all gummy bears and I'm this. So you're putting yourself on a pedestal and you make it very easy for people to come and question your motives and for people to talk about you. So it's not surprising to me that if this is... Marcus's true nature so he can get more and more exposure to get more and more people to talk about him he would use language in his music but do it in a way where it might be somewhat inaudible but when you actually listen to it you hear that that's exactly what he said he said I'm a MF or soldier and the music is washed away by Marcus Rogers on his Brotherhood album now there's a few things that I tend to believe that this is true one he says it, and I've been talking about his music for a while, and I said that his music is not godly. It's not Christian music, okay? Two, he says it low and tries to say it kind of quick. It's almost like he's covering that portion up. Three, every video that Marcus Rogers has done has always been led to comments. He leaves the comments open. He wants people to make comments on him. People make their comments. People say things except for his music. Why is that? Some of his music, he allows people to make comments on his music. I've seen that. I've made a couple comments on his music. Door of Adonia was one of them. One of them where his wife was in a tank top. This is not godly attire. One where he's sitting there with guns, props, commented about that, about abstaining from the appearance of evil. So I have made my comments and I've been really thorough with my research of the Bible and making my comments according to scripture about his music. Marcus, if you're using music, and obviously you did make that phrase within your song, I'm an MF and soldier. Being a Christian, I am really disappointed, but I'm not surprised. This has happened way too many times. And I am calling you out on this, and yet you don't even answer. Other people call you out on your, your issues and things that you say and do and all of that other stuff. And you refuse to really go and talk to people. You said you want all the smoke. When somebody's bringing you something that you're considering smoke, where are you? You're, you're not there. You're not addressing it. You're hiding from it. Okay? So when, you're, when people, you really listen to this. Listen to the first 45 seconds of that song. First 30 seconds of that song, as a matter of fact. And you will hear that he uses, I am an MF or soldier. Now, if somebody is getting something different from it, please mention that in the comments. Please mention that. Because I am curious as to what other people think. I listened to it. I didn't just listen to it once either. I really listened to it. I did it about four or five times. I even slowed it down. I slowed down. The song down from 1 speed to 0.75 speed to 0.5 speed to 0.25 speed and when I did that that's what comes out okay so people Marcus Rogers is not godly he is not a man of God using this kind of language in his music and you guys are listening to it you guys are eating it up you're 600 and some thousand subscribers to his channel you guys got to be very careful we are at war, a spiritual war. We are at a spiritual war. And it seeps through music. It seeps through charismatic individuals. You got charismatic preachers out there doing this stuff. You got people out there who want to preach the, the prosperity gospel. You got people like Marcus Rogers, who, if you look at a lot of his videos, he's in a room. He has to have the best of the best stuff. He has to have like all this neon stuff and everything else. 
since when does preaching the gospel of God require you to have all this unnecessary stuff? I am simply out here talking about God and I'm doing it off of a cell phone. I don't need all this stuff. I'm doing it to spread the news and I'm also combating certain individuals with what they say. I haven't, it's not just Marcus Rogers. Mark the Messenger was another one where he stated that uh, Adam was somewhere out in a field tending a field or something and Eve ate the fruit, you know? And Adam was nowhere around, but that's not what it says. In Genesis chapter three, I think verse six, it says that he was with Eve at the time she ate. So that's implying that Adam was there. He was there. He was right there in the middle of it. He could have told Eve to stop from eating the apple. He chose to eat the apple as well. So it's not just Eve. They say that women are the weaker vessel, but Eve ate from the fruit. So did Adam. So people are always blaming Eve. Well, it, you know, she ate from the fruit, but man also ate from the fruit as well. And I don't like when people take scripture and twist it and put their own ideologies into scripture because the Bible warns us about people doing that. Or you take a scripture and you take it out of context. Marcus Rogers does this a lot. And now it's seeping through his music and it's seeping through over the airwaves and over YouTube. You can see that this person is being possessed by the devil, by what he says and his conduct. People, you gotta wake up. Your life depends on it. Your soul depends on it. Your eternity depends on it. Your eternity depends on it. Marcus Rogers, stop making ungodly music, please. Stop luring people away with the enticing sound of a beat. Stop using language that is unbecoming of God. That is not good godly conduct. Again, like I said, I listened to that song, that first 45 seconds to 30 seconds. I listened to that. And I listened to it about six different times. And I am convinced, not because I want to or I got some kind of like real issue with you, but in my soul, I am convinced and from what I heard from godly ears, you used that language and then you block the comments so people can't talk about it because you don't want to be held responsible for your behavior you don't want to be held responsible for the things you said people wise up really listen to the lyrics and i really appreciate the person that brought this to my attention to ask me to look at it and give my opinion on it and i'm going to keep that person anonymous because there's a few people but one in particular Thank you. God bless and stay in love.